Hey guys, I'm back, Ronan and Team, to discuss the second short in chronological order of Blade Runner 2049. This one is called Blade Runner 2036 Nexus Dawn. Uh, the short is directed by Lou Scott, who I believe is Ridley Scott's son, who also directed a prelude short to Ellen Covenant. Um, again, the from the look, the, the thumbnails, these sh these shorts look and look perfect to the the, the setting, the feel of uh, the Blade Runner world. And in this particular short in the timeline, I believe there's a prohibition on uh, re uh, replicants, all different ne nexuses that um that uh, right after recovering the, the blackouts, they didn't want to, they wanted to avoid as much blood as possible and that Benedict Wan, who is in charge of this ma magisterial uh, council, who approves and disapproves laws, has brought up Neander Wallace, Jerry Little's uh, character, to discuss of his technology and what he's been up to, and saying that he has to stop, that that we won't change our laws, that the off-world colonies are thriving, and in that same time, Little tells him straight up that, that you're holding us back from uh, evolving to pushing the limits of where the technology go and they laugh it off that thinking that you're crazy. And Little tells him that your laws have uh, kept the hand of progress going and that they been in a response to him that our laws have kept blood off the streets. You know, they, well, they you're, you're full of BS. During the, the whole session, uh, Wallace has a replicant next to him and tells him to, to cut his, to break the glass that they have in front of the table and cut his face. And he asks him, um, he tells him, do this, cut your face, does it hurt? And then the replicant says, yes. And then he says, you have to make a choice, my life, your life or my life, do you understand? And the replicant kills himself. He stabs himself in, in the, 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 the neck. And Wallace goes about it and they're like, no, this is wrong. Like, you, shouldn't be doing this this is wrong and Wallace goes about saying that his replicants will live long or short depending on, on uh, how much the customer or how long the customer pays that they'll never rebel they'll never run that they're um, that the only thing they'll ever do is obey and it was showing through the example of the replicant killing himself um which hint at stuff that that Wallace does in the film which I thought was like messed up as, as hell and it's again my perspective on replicants has just been changing back and forth back and forth and leaning more to like rooting for them instead of for the Blade Runners um but yeah this this short was sort of like the tipping point of where uh, the world of Blade Runner was going to go through or we're, we're going to like stay back to where we were before this whole mess or are we going to push the boundaries and just split it. Humans, replicants, how are we gonna do it? It was a cool to see where Wallace's thinking had gone from building back the world from the blackout and to being you know, like, listen, I brought us back from from the Stone Age. Just, you know, fuck off. Let me push in more, right? We're you know, we're just we're 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 only like thinking about reaching the stars when we could actually grab a star or reach for them actually so yeah it's, it's a great great short edition and uh, I think the only thing that I, that I would ask well I'll I'll, I'll save my comments for the, the shorts for the last uh, the next last short so yeah go check it out cool edition hopefully it's on blu-ray and uh, kudos it was a cool experimental thing that they did with these shorts so check it out <laughs> Thank you.